Hey everybody, it's Doug Schaub with Remax Oceanside and MakeManYourHome.com. This week we're going down to see Sven Johnson. He's the marketing manager with Renewal by Anderson. Anderson Corporation makes windows. If you've ever needed windows or you replaced your windows, you've probably heard of Anderson. And Renewal by Anderson is their division that does replacement windows. And this company is impressive because it's really an awesome window, but this company also installs it, does all the whole work and warranties that whole thing. Um, so I'm excited to talk to Sven. Let's go do this. All right, hey guys, I made it over to Renewal by Anderson down in Saco to see uh, Sven Johnson here, who's the marketing manager. Uh, first off, where are we? What's the address, 66? 66 Industrial Park Road. Okay, gotcha. Right in Saco. Good, So okay. easy on and off right off the highway, though. Right, I just know where it is, so I just kind of showed yeah. up. I, you know? <laughs> Your friend GPS told you. It did, yeah, it's a turn, turn right, and I came in, all right? <laughs> so anyway, this is Sven Johnson. He's the marketing manager here at Renewal by Anderson. Uh, Sven and I have known each other for a while, so this is gonna, this should be a lot of fun. I know a lot about him already, but I'm <laughs> I'm going to ask him some questions so you can learn about them. So anyway, hey, thanks for having me. Hey, yeah. thanks for coming. Yeah, appreciate, appreciate it. it. Yeah. So uh, let's start off learning a little bit about you. Um, where are you from? Maine. <laughs> Good. Yeah, so actually I grew up in Maine. So I uh, grew up in Yarmouth. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Yarmouth is uh, just north of Portland, north of Falmouth. And then there's Yarmouth, yeah. uh, right along the coast. So that's where I grew up, raised, um, and uh, went to college out of state. but. My mission was to always come back okay. and uh, live and work in Maine. So, oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah. and hence here you are. Yeah. So growing up in Yarmouth, though, what, what was that like? I mean, Yarmouth is a cool town. It was, it, yeah, yeah, actually, hot, and back in the 90s, 80s, it was, uh, it's a hockey town. It still is, but more so it's, uh, yeah. that, that was my thing is hockey, and you're into it, too, so you kind of, you know. Now we're talking. Yeah, really. Do you got your skates? Let's go out. I know, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, actually, right on the parking lot, we probably do it today. <laughs> yeah, right? So, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's, it was, that was the thing. The extracurricular activity was really hot. Hockey for us, so right. hockey, hockey, hockey. Getting but, outside, yeah. sure. It really was pond hockey everywhere. They actually have their own rink, and they still have it behind. I think it's Key Bank in Yarmouth, so yeah. you still go skating there too. So. Um, NYA is up there. Yep, yeah, right yeah, next that, to it. Yeah. Okay. All yeah. right. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Great. So where'd you where'd you go off to college? Uh, Bentley. Uh, it was Bentley College at the time, back in the '90s, and uh, they changed to a university based on the size they became. And mm -hmm. um, what a school! Um, it's funny. Uh, it's an accounting finance school, but I'm in marketing, uh, and <laughs> yeah. that's actually what I graduated with from Bentley—a marketing degree. So everything I've done in my professional career, college, and what I wanted to do was um, get into marketing, and it was more along the lines of marketing a tangible product. Right. Um, you know, I wasn't into insurance and finances, and and I was terrible at accounting. I won't tell you. My GPA on that one. That's really, it's really bad. Okay. All right. Marketing, I did okay though. Yeah. So um, good. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. You're you're awesome at it. But uh, something I do gotta ask. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, so something I do gotta ask because uh, you know I've known you for a while. You you're probably the most organized person I know. Like everything just seems. Well, because my desk, we could clear off a spot for the. Got, yeah. <laughs> no, no, you just like not just like your stuff, but I mean just like in business and marketing, like everything. You you, you have a system. It seems like for yeah. everything, and I love that. So where did that come from? Was like were your parents like that, or is that just? Uh... I think I was adopted. <laughs> okay. Seriously, well, everyone in my yeah. family is the opposite. I mean, is, don't go, really? don't go to my sister's house or my brother's house or anyone like that. And really. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know why. Yeah, uh, I think I got it more from my father than anything, and he was very he was a, he was a lawyer. Um, went to the London School of Economics, and mm -hmm. I mean, a lawyer you have to remember a lot of things. But I think he was he had a better memory than I do. Um, nowadays with technology, you can you know I put everything on the computer. It reminds me, ding ding ding. Oh, I got to do this. I got to eat. Oh, okay, I got to go eat. Right. Um, but I think that's really it's helped me. I've utilized the technology to my advantage, and then I really think that it, you know hearing and working. Uh, and just connecting with people, I really think that's another big thing too, is networking and staying connected. You never know what you're gonna find, whether it's promoting your business or what you're doing, but it's making those connections, having conversations, like, what? wait a second, how do you do that? Yeah. And then I look into it and then adopt it, and there's been some things that have done it that way. But yeah. I appreciate you noticing, I worked hard at it, and there's some things I do and don't do very well. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, yeah not, nobody's perfect. But no, yeah. I've, I, you know, in, uh, since I've known you, it's it's just, uh, I've always noticed that, how, how just organized, you always got a system for everything, I love that. You know, that's just, the, you know, that's how I try to run my business. You're yeah. much better at it than I am. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so you went off to college, um, 
did you just instantly come back to Maine? Was that always the plan? Yep, it was okay. always the plan. I go I mean, back. literally, um, I think I actually saw the ad uh, for a company up here and uh, ripped it out of the newspaper and brought it back to Maine and made the call. I, mean, I sent out you know, 50 resumes, but then the ad that I saw was actually in college. I, had, I brought the paper back with me, the Portland Press, and brought it back to Maine and made the calls in Maine. And the ad was actually working for the owner now. Oh, that's funny. So 22 years ago. Right out of college. Was the ad. Boom. Right out of college. That's awesome. Yeah. So three months later, uh, out of college, I was working for Jim Lang. And here you are. And, and here I am. Well, that's a good segue. So, you know, the company now, <laughs> uh, we'll get into, you know, Renewal by Anderson and all that. But, like, yeah, tell me a little bit about the roots. You know, Jim Lang um, is the owner. And yeah. he's, I mean, geez, he's been in this business since since dirt. 40 years. Right. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Awesome. Uh, yeah. So he started in the industry, in the home improvement industry, but he was selling for the manufacturer of... Uh, a company outside and he was out in Cincinnati that's where his roots are and and right. he loved it but um, he saw a bigger picture for himself and wanted to go into business for himself uh, so he moved Maine in the late 80s and um, decided to set up shop here and he was an all-around home improvement company from gutter shutters roofing siding siding was his um, one of his mainstays and and then really the bread and butter was sunrooms uh, it was oh, yeah. a big yeah, part of the business. So it was, yeah. it was, you know, we built over 3,500 sunrooms in the state of Maine. Yeah. Um, That's but, right. I still see them around. Some yeah. Houses, everyone's yeah, actually, yeah. 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 When, we were, yeah. when you were showing them on the way, we yeah. ran into them. Yeah. Um, but it, yeah. uh, so windows and, windows and signing was his, his gig, and, and Windows never left. It was, that was the product that survived anything that we threw at it, and it was really, I mean, our our guys that work for us can build houses, but... Right. It's really an. It's we wanted to focus. We wanted to stay focused. It's a year-round business. We do window. We're installing windows today, February. What is it? Twentieth. That's awesome. We're out there today doing it right before the storm. So, uh, really, it's 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 one of the year-round things. But it's a need for people, and we've got a need that, that can can be fulfilled. So, right. Um, yeah, yeah. Or fulfill the need rather. So. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Great. Yeah. So windows have kind of always been the the. The product that's been able yeah. to stand the test of time. Yeah, right? I think so. Yeah, yeah. No. I mean, we it, back. I mean, if you wanted to get into a little bit more of the details, is this where you want to get into the details about renewal? Talk about yeah. that. Yeah, let's. Yeah, let's go into. Uh, let's talk about renewal now that you know. Now that we're there, or let's talk about Anderson. Okay, so a little bit. So you let's know, do that. Yeah, let's do that. <coughs> Excuse uh, me. We'll, we'll talk a little bit about Anderson, which, uh, as far as I know, I mean, it's kind of been around forever, right? So. This is what I always tell people, and you've heard me say this quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Anderson's still around today. They're in the 1900s. Um, it's a century-old company, uh, still making windows today. You can pick them up at the lumber yards. Um, right. They make the opening fit the window generally for new construction. Yes, you can rehab your house with Anderson windows, either right. yourself or have a general contractor do it. Um, that's the thing is that the, they mainly make them the opening fit the window they're usually building new and a new addition new home um, right. they're doing that sort of thing they created renewal uh, in the 70s and then it became live in the in the mid 90s where they're the replacement window division of the Anderson corporation so literally think of Anderson as two separate divisions of their company hmm. still the mothership right renewal is one part of it where um, they wanted a fully customized product to fit the opening Sure. It's also the first composite product that they make. It's, uh, it's actually made of some recycled fibers of the Anderson plant and polymers to make the pieces and parts and frames that hold the glass pieces and, and everything together. Right. Um, so it looks, feels strong like wood, but you don't ever have to maintain it. Right, the maintenance isn't there. The other aspect is it's really strong, stronger than wood. Right. Um, yeah, I, I want to st stay with that for, for, for a second, I guess. But let me, uh, before we get into that... Mm. You said the '70s is when they started renewal by Anderson, yeah. or was that was that like were they installing windows in the '70s? No, they were under still. This umbrella, or was it kind of like that? That's when they started thinking. About <laughs> they were still <laughs> testing it. They actually, when renewal first came out, they were thinking it was going to be a distribution like the Anderson product. So they started having them in lumber yards. The, oh, really? These renewal, windows. and it wasn't yeah. called renewal. It was called N1 IRE2. Right. I, it's, I'm Dash, that, I was thinking of what, SARS yeah. and the virus <laughs> I just got over. So, yeah, But, yeah, no, but yeah, 82-5. I mean, that's what it was. <laughs> right. But they had them at lumber yards, and they, they pulled them out quickly um, after the first test because they started getting so many complaints, people didn't know how to install them right. Gotcha. Um, they were having so many complaints and, and the, you know, pointing fingers of what's going on. And, right. Um, so they said, well, time out, wave the white flag. How are we going to control the installation? So it's the product 
but it's the product and the installation all under one roof, and that's what we are, it's not a franchise, we don't pay money to wear their logo on our chest. Right. So we looked to find a product, they looked for the company, it was marriage made in heaven, so we sell the product, design it, but then we carry out the installation and warranty everything okay, under one gotcha. roof. So, all right, so they, they came up with this polymer product and it just yeah. didn't go very well in their normal distribution. So now this is what they, this is what they came up with. This is what they did, yeah. Okay. So yeah, how, how is the company structured then, um, if it's not a franchise, mm -hmm. you, you, know, you guys are the installation company. Yeah. Talk to me a little bit about how, the, how all of that works. Is it, um, it's not a franchise, but uh, how does it work? Yeah, so Renewal themselves, when I, I tell you, I, I, you know, we have some support from our corporate office, I, it means Renewal by Anderson. They manufacture the windows, right. but they're more than just that. They actually have their own company stores, just like us in other parts of the country. There's Boston, oh, there's owned Chicago, by owned, by, owned by Renewal. Oh, wow. So okay. Renewal actually owns their own stores. So they're not only making the windows, they're s distributing it through their own stores, and they're doing the same thing that we're doing just across the country. So gotcha. they, okay. someone who's interested in our, in our products and services, kind of the process is they schedule a free appointment to have them out to their homes. Right. And then we go out with a product specialist to not only take measurements, bring out samples and um, show them pictures, plenty of photos, because each home's different. Right. Um, and depending on what they like to see, we can leave them a quote right there on the spot, whether they want to do it or not. At least there's some information, including the price. Right. And if they place an order, it's everything's customized. Um, so they do the exact same thing, and then order, ship to us, we install it. Gotcha. Warrant. So it's I all the same. Yeah. I understand. So, yep. so you guys are like instead of uh, renewal having their own stop shop here, you guys are, are that conduit for yeah. So, the installation. God forbid yeah, if we're not the company here, renewal is the company. They it, either they would come in or they would hire someone to take over this business in this market. Yeah, something right, right, right. But there's no reason to. Yeah. No, yeah. well, there's yeah. yeah, there's nothing going. I mean, it's really yeah. the, we're doing so well. We're one of the. Um, we were just. Uh, 2015, I think it was. Mm -hmm. um, we were named um, Renewal by Anderson Operation Excellence of the Year. So, out of oh. all of the 112 uh, Renewal by Anderson companies across the country, we were we were pleasantly surprised. But we have a pretty tight knit operation, one of the better ones out there. So. Oh, fantastic! Yeah, yeah, really good. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. So let's talk. Let's talk. Uh, you touched on like the process of it. Um, Let's say, you know, I call in and say, hey, I want some windows. You guys send a guy out. He shows me all the stuff. I yeah. get a quote. Let's say I, I, I say, hey, let's do this. Um, how long does it take to get the windows? You know, how long does yeah. it take? Oh, know, that's a good that question. Kind of yeah. And so, what happened? Like, hey, here's here's your order sheet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, what do you guys do? Is yeah. it like send measurements out? You know, what, how does that whole process yeah. work? No, it's a very good question. So when someone places an order with us, the old adage in the industry is measure twice, cut once. Yes. Or if you're like me, I, I just cut. So, yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. Cut. He doesn't um, do the installation. Yeah, I don't. You don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Only in my own house. Right. <laughs> no, actually, the guys came out and did my own house. Oh, awesome. I'll have to show you some photos. But yeah. um, So they actually, we sent out a tech measure. Um, uh, they're actually, uh, they are a technician. They actually go out, verify all the measurements that our product specialist took on the initial visit. And they go out and they actually build the whole material list, again, verify it to what we originally came out with. Mm. And that's what we go to bat, not only um, with the tech measures, measurements, and the, and the product specialist measurements, we compare the two to see if there's any variations. If there's too far of a variation, we're like, time out, we gotta review that one again before we actually place the order with the Renewal by Anderson plant that would make the windows. So right. the longest part is making the windows. That's, it's all custom. So sure. we don't have any that are in a warehouse. I need 82 of those you know, 24 by 36. Right, it's not like that, right. So, are we talking a couple weeks, four weeks? No, so it depends on the time of year too. So okay. this time of year, we're about 10 or so weeks from order to oh, wow. actual install. Okay, oh, okay. And the reason is because everyone in the fall that placed orders, they try to get beat the winter, it didn't happen, so they're actually being installed now. Right. So everyone in December, is getting installed in February. Okay. Um, so it's it's just it's the backlog. So when after February we'll actually go probably in a six to eight week time period. Yeah, sure. From order, it's more of a reasonable. But it, when you're talking about a customized product, the biggest amount of time is making it. Right. Because all the specs go right through in the in the plant, and they verify it, test it before they even ship it to us. Yeah, sure. Because um, if anything happens, we don't want to have to go back out and service if we can help it. But we're we're the ones that service everything. So that's it. I mean, as a custom window like that, it seems like. 
do you guys are do you guys get stuck with windows occasionally? I mean, there's some. You know, well, we're not perfect. Like it just doesn't fit. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you got to try to make it fit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, yeah. if, if anything happens, I mean, we we own it. If it's we make a mistake and it's we own the opening, so it lets right. we we have some some measurements that go wrong. Right. Um, the, on my heck, perfect example, my house. Um, there were two windows that were measured right, but ordered incorrectly. There's room for mistake. Yeah, sure. And it's just a human error if you pr if you just don't press the the right measurements or, or the colors off or anything. And there's a lot of ways because it's 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 customized all the way down to glass. Right. So the type of glass, the type of screen, the type of hardware, the finish on both sides of the window, let alone the measurements, is everything from start to finish. Right. There's a lot of room for error. We're they're eliminating those error points going. To the, yeah, a technological the process, and yeah. we're not quite there yet, but we're right. getting there. But yeah, yeah we do, do have some that do the best that we you make can. Mistakes. Yeah, I mean, because I mean, they're so custom. I, I can't imagine you, you can't just like throw them on a shelf and hopefully, hopefully they'll fit something. Unfortunately, we recycle them after that. Oh, you so do. That's really where. Oh, it's yeah. From. Oh, yeah. Isn't that interesting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, uh, so then you, you place your order, and then I'm assuming it's just kind of hey, you know, we're just waiting for the windows. Yeah. Um, let's yeah. say uh, you know the windows show up. What happens then? So the window, um, even in the process between the actual order and the time that we install, we're communicating with our customers that have placed the order. They want to know because that's the biggest time frame when, right. hey, if we don't talk to them in six to eight weeks, where did they go? You know, Are they still around? What happened to those guys? Yeah, yeah they yeah. take my money and go to Florida or something like that. It's winter time up here. Hey, right. yeah, right. Margarita, <laughs> yeah. Doug, Doug. We're going um, to Vegas, baby. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So no, we can communicate because we actually have communication from the plant. We have um, ship dates, when it's going to be shipped, when it, we're going to arrive. And we try to schedule it around. It's just a big way station. So the, the windows actually, it's funny uh, to see it. Um, and especially with my windows that came in, they're, they're stamped with your name, the actual opening that it goes into. Oh, that's cool. The sizes, the colors, everything's on the package itself. It comes in completely wrapped in cardboard, so it's recyclable. But it's well protected so that it's just not shrink wrapped. It's actually coming in a nice protected, but on the outside it's stamped with all the information. So we can say, okay, there are the 25 windows that go to Johnson. Right. There they are. And we put them in. They actually don't touch the floor. They actually are on carts that we roll around and place in like little buggy areas. And then they, oh, yeah, sure. they roll. And, then, and we're trying to get them right back out because we don't need them. We don't want a big overhead warehouse. Right. So they're going so right they back come, out. Yeah, when they come in, they're going out. As so we're communicating, okay, right. when, when's a good time? A week or a week and a half out, we're trying to schedule, barring weather. That's the only thing that throws us off, guys, is right. blizzards like tomorrow. We're going to put postpone people that we had initially had set up a week and a half ago because we love the weathermen. Yeah. They still have jobs, baby. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we don't know. Mother uh, Nature's, you know, likes yeah. to play, have fun with us. So right, that's exactly. the one thing that'll throw us off. Okay. So, yeah, all right. So I, I see what you're saying. Like, as you get closer to, you know, they're coming in, then you're, start, you're scheduling things we're in. We're honing things in. Yeah, yeah. Honing things in. Hey, we're usually there. If it's the first part of the day, we're there at the break of dawn if they can allow us to do it. Hey, we're ready to go. Right. And we'll work as long as it takes to get that job done. We're not leaving jobs. It's it's important for us to like literally start to finish and make sure everything's done. Yeah, you're not leaving holes in there. So yeah. let's let's chat about that for a second. So guys show up. Um, let's say let's say I'm a normal house and I mean I don't know what the average one is. What's a normal house, house Doug? Come on, you've never seen a normal house. I know, that's true. So let's say I mean an average house, I guess. Average house, Doug. Let's say come 18 on. windows, 20 windows? It really I don't even know. It depends on what you're talking about. Like right, you're talking right. like ranches, it's oh, not yeah, even it's close to that. Yeah, if like you're five. talking capes, <laughs> maybe possible. Right. So like um, my, my house I think I counted once as uh, I think sixteen or eighteen. It's a normal yeah. normal colonial. Yeah. Um like if uh, if they were coming to install all those windows, let's say 18 windows, how long does that take? That would really depend on what the installation is going to take place. So okay. the renewal product has a diversity of either being a replacement window that where we taking out sashes and the master frame of the existing window is still intact, we can insert into the existing opening mm -hmm. of that window. Two things happen. One, you lose glass. You lose glass. Sure. We I just lose that. the least amount in the entire industry because of this Fibrex compo composite material. It's oh, so right. strong. Right. We can make our frames and sashes leaner. It'll hold the glass and still perform. We don't have failure in the, in the windows. So that's something to be said. Okay. The other thing that happens is it's actually it's a, it's a quicker install when we're inserting into it an opening that's already created for us. We're not touching interior casing. We're not touching exterior casing. We're just... you working within the actual opening sure. that's already there. So we just seal it up and it, insulation, seal it, and then we have some trim that goes on the inside and outside oh, okay. and you're done. 
if we're going everything down to the studs and it's customized, like I had bigger mine is a um, and when they did my installation, mine had new construction vinyl windows in its place. We don't use the existing mm -hmm. vinyl frame. There's right. nothing there. They had to go down to the studs, so they had to take all the trim off on the inside, outside, all brand new trim gets put back. All pre -pine. I wanted it primed. That was me, so I had to do some painting. Relatively nothing bad, but right. depends. So it, it's longer of an install because there's more work to be done. It's not just the window. It's everything that goes with it to make sure that when we're done, the only thing you have to do to lift the finger is to open your window. Open the window. Literally. Yeah. So yeah, you shouldn't cool. have to do anything else. Right. Include cleaning. That's it. it we just, I just came from a customer's house. She goes, I was really surprised. I didn't have to do any cleaning after you guys left. That's awesome. In fact, they yeah. backed their way out of the house vacuuming as they left. <laughs> yeah. They that's... vacuumed their footsteps. I was like, seriously? She goes, that's yeah, a... you should have seen them. Oh, that's great. It was funny. Yeah, yeah. So, that's yeah. awesome. That, that's the way to be, man. I had, a, I had a half bathroom done recently in my house, and it was like the dirtiest crew ever. It was like, you know, we had to hire a cleaner in the whole oh, house, no. you know, just to do it. So that's awesome. That's great. Me. Yeah, yeah, that's great. <laughs> um, so talk to me about the installers then, because um, you guys have some special people that, that work here. Are they your Thank employer? You. Uh, your employees and I'll or? talk on all of that too because yeah. this is this is something that uh, is big it's not just a window and that's something I usually tell people we don't install windows um, we we make relationships uh, uh, from from our clients and and you do too as well but we really change people's lives at least that's what they're telling us and and homes obviously but the the only way this can happen is with the, the crews that are trained on how to do this installation because it's not a typical vinyl window that's been out in the industry and the technology that's been out there for decades. Right. Um, they're certified master installers. What does that mean? They're okay. certified by Renewal by Anderson to install our products. They have to have so much field time training, so much field time training with one of our lead installers. Oh, interesting. And they actually go to plant and actually have tests taken too. So they have to be certified before they are able to work even uh, in our customers' homes. So what? So what's that certification like? So you fly them out to Anderson or Renewal? Some of them do get fly, yeah. flown okay. out. It's actually the leaders that get flown out. We have team leads and, and helpers and, uh, yeah. with those leads to make up a crew. And depending on how many people, two-man crews are usually what it is. But okay. could be three-man, four-man depending on the size of the job. Right. But yeah, so some get actually, you're sent out to Minnesota. That's where all the windows are made. Uh, and there's good training facilities, but we actually have our own training facility here. You so right we here. actually, oh, good. Do, we have mock walls built. So we actually put windows in mock walls and, and see how they're doing them. The walls are kind of built crooked and not plumb and level and, and they're racked. And okay, so what do you do in, in this situation? Gotcha. In our, in our scenario. So they actually get pretty rigorous training but and also some of it's printed too material and they're writing out obviously right, there's some so. math that has to yeah be is there a certain amount like like hours or something that yeah. it takes okay so you gotta like, i don't report, know off the top of my head they have your... to have a certain number of hours. yeah to get like, that important. certification or yeah. whatever yeah. okay so we had, and we have a, a logo that we use we can't get it from renewal without them being certified and, and going through the training and That's going it. through the training yeah. so and we do have independent contractors that don't work on our payroll that aren't truly employees funny thing is they used to be Oh, interesting. They just yeah. wanted to do some work on the side on their own, and, and they decided to, like, decades they've been with us. So it's, right. they, I call them our guys. They're pretty much your guys. Yeah. Right, right. But they're still been, they've been certified and all that yeah. stuff. They just happen to do it. They've yeah. been certified. They've gone through the program and that sort of thing. Right. So it's something to be said about that. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, so why don't we chat a little bit about the windows themselves then, or yeah. more about the windows. Yeah. Um, this polymer, and then, of course, there's glass, the whole nine yards. Yeah. Um, would it be easier to show at this point? Yeah, we or can do that. You want to do that? Yeah. You want to show show me how they work? Yeah, at or, least the operation of a double hung window. At least that we could do that. Yeah, we yeah. Could do that. And do you have any like glass samples and stuff like all all that stuff here? I've got glass samples. Yeah, I could probably set up some. It'd be hard on audio for people to hear the glass right. sample. Unless you want me to break something, I can do that, and then they can listen yeah. to how the glass breaks. See if That'd it breaks awesome. any different. You got a baseball bat? I know. <laughs> Hockey sticks. Yeah. Oh, we can do a hockey puck. Yeah. Yeah. yeah cool. Yeah. Why, why don't we do that? We can step in the showroom. You can Let's show, do that. show me a few things and all that. Perfect. Cool. All right. So we were going to go out in the showroom, but there's people out there. <laughs> so so we're going to do it here. Um, we have a window here. Um, let's let's chat about it. Um, sure. What can you tell me? I mean, this this whole thing. It, it's it's not wood. It's not vinyl. Yeah. What, what do we got? So. Like I mentioned before, Renewal created this material. It's called Fibrex. Mm -hmm. It's a type of material they're actually not only making it in their plant and putting it and extruding it all together, it's made of recycled fibers um, from their original Anderson plants. They make some of those fibers, 
put it together with polymers and they create fabric. So everything you see here in the white that's holding touching glass parts and pieces, it's everything is the fabric material inside and out. It all is, okay. The reason yeah. is because, and you can get a true wood interior still with a renewal product that if you want to paint or stain yourself, you can do it. And this is still paintable too. Gotcha. Without voiding the warranty. If you, we, we actually put windows in and they wanted to paint their windows purple. Oh, so you and, can paint this. Oh yeah, they oh, can paint it without voiding it. We have a care and maintenance package that comes with the windows. Okay. That we tell them how to take care of their windows if they want to paint them. So oh, down the road, if you want to paint them, my son's room is all dark bronze. I have white windows in the interior. I was like, okay, I'll just, I'll, well, I want to paint them down the road. I have just to take care of them and watch the instructions. So Okay. But you, you don't have to though, right? No, like, no. Like it's not like you have to, to nope. treat it or anything. No, no, no. Nothing well, treatable. Well, everything. It's, it's literally, seriously, when we're done, like I said, the only finger you'll have to lift is the window to use to do is to lift the window. It's good to go. Okay. So, and that's inside and out. So it's maintenance, literally the term maintenance free. I mean, these are built and tested at, at so many locations across the U.S. So the Arizona dry heat, they have a testing facility. The Florida moisture content down in Florida, they have that. And then the tundra of Minnesota, and they actually make these for Alaska. Right. So they actually put these and build them and put them in people's homes in Alaska because they have another renewal by Anderson Company up there. So they're oh, well tested um, to sustain, literally su sustain any type of environment that's thrown at them. Right, um, especially here, around here. Here's another big thing too. Anderson, uh, a few years ago when they had their 20 year anniversary in 15, 2015, they did a durability test. They went to one of their original customers that had windows installed in their home and they took them all out. Oh wow. So before they took them out, they did some testing on site, but they literally took out all of the windows in their house. Obviously yeah. put new windows back in, Hope so. but they took them back to their plants to test them to see if the Fibrex materials was doing exactly what we had sold it 20 years ago and today. And they increased the warranty on the Fibrex material three years ago, so it's a 20-year warranty oh, interesting. on anything of the Fibrex material, anything like that, that has to deal with the product itself. That's just the product and the installation is also backed up too. Okay, So, and yeah. how long is the installation backed up for? So anything that happens with the product, all the installation, or, or uh, us to take care of it, to come out and actually replace a lock or a sash or anything like that, it's covered. That for right, 20 that's years. covered, okay. Gotcha. For installation, it's a two-year installation warranty, and if you're looking at just installation, we have customers that call us after that, and if there's right, anything that comes up, because right. people don't know, and we wouldn't know necessarily until we get out there, whether it's a product failure or something that happened on the install, a trim, you know, fell off and it's leaking in the window. We've never right. had that, but thankfully, knock on wood, you know, it's wood, but um, <laughs> right, but we've never had that, which is good, good to say. So, yeah, sure. uh, but okay. yeah, that's that's truly it. And why isn't it lifetime? There's a really specific reason. This is 20 years. It's non-prorated. You can transfer it to 16 other people. If they buy the house 16 times, you're selling them, selling them over and over again. The warranty stays with the window. It, it does, does not go with the owner. So you don't have to do that whole transfer. The reason there's again. lifetime, there's a certain percentage and companies are, and manufacturers are banking on it. People don't transfer the paperwork and it's costly to transfer the paperwork. Okay. So when you read the fine prints of these lifetime warranties, you'll actually see you have to transfer it within a certain time period to the manufacturer in writing to them, not email. Right. You have to package it up and send it to them with the new owner's signature and get it to them so that they actually have the documentation. 80% um, of the people that transfer the heck does that? don't do it. Right. 80%. Yeah. So they actually are banking on that, the 20%, that's what they're they're banking on the lifetime. Right. And it's not transferable after that. One transfer, that's it. Ours is unlimited Yeah. for 20 years. That's interesting because I used to sell windows, as you know, and I didn't know that. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. so that's good. Yeah. Okay, so what about, what about the glass? Is there anything special about the glass? So there is a reason, uh, there's a lot of things special about it, I won't bore you to death, but there's a reason why Anderson doesn't make a triple pane glass. Okay. Um, it's because they don't need to. Right. The efficiencies, and you've seen me do this demonstration, and we'll actually do this in your home for free. If you really want to learn about windows and, and get an option of replacing them in your home, the efficiency of the glass that they have, the coatings, you've heard of low E. Yeah. They have a fourth iteration of low E that they're using in their glass. The gases, you've heard of argon, yep. krypton, yep. not like you know Superman, but it's a type of gas yep. Yep. that they inject into the windows. They actually have a proprietary blend of nitrogen that offsets the instability of argon that wants to leave, ga leave the window and, and, and not be as efficient. So okay. geeking out on you, nitrogen and, and the, the combination of nitrogen and argon, they've actually found the right percentages so that it 
stabilizes the argon inside the glass. Right. So it doesn't dissipate over time. Okay. So the efficiencies of that and the coatings, they don't need a triple pane. It gives you the efficiency of that. So we can actually show you exactly what glass you're getting. Right. Ours is called the Low E4 High Performance Smart Sun Glass. Okay. Long name, amazing results, as, <laughs> as they say. But, yeah, sure, sure. Um, so okay. the efficiency really is, and this is the type of glass I have in my house. It's And, and actually, how do you know what you got? Every Anderson and Renewal by Anderson window has an etching in the lower right-hand corner of every sash mm. that says exactly what glass this is made out of. So you know exactly what glass you got. Right. Versus, I don't know what I got. It seems to be okay, but yeah. that's another big piece of it. That's funny because that's a handy little trick I use sometimes. Yeah. Like when I'm out showing houses, like, oh, these windows look okay. And I kind of do like, oh, yeah, yeah, those are Anderson. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> well, there's a reason why manufacturers yeah. don't put their names on the windows. Right. It's because they don't want to be found and have a lifetime warranty. Right. They have to take care of a service where they don't get paid for. Well, we want to make sure if something goes wrong that it's taken care of. It's taken care of. Yeah. 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 Actually, yeah. One other thing with the glass, and this is something that's not promoted and we don't say it because you have to have actually uh, ratings behind it and specific, and we can certainly show them, but sound. Uh, efficiency too. So uh, yeah. I just came from a customer's house today. Literally, they're on a busy street. We didn't promote this as part of the product. It was an added benefit. They said we couldn't believe the difference in no sound after you guys had the installation done. It literally stopped the sound coming in our house from this busy road. We don't hear the cars anymore. No, it's so awesome. it's, it, again, yeah. there's certain STC ratings for the windows. We don't get into it. It's actually the difference in thickness of glass between the two panes mm -hmm. that's that stops or sometimes deadens the sound as it's traveling through. Oh, interesting. Again, geeking out, but um, right. it's really interesting. We well, just that's, don't, that's, that's another it. benefit that we can't get into without ratings specifically noted behind what we say. Right, right. But that's a good benefit, yeah. If yeah. you're buying a house on a busy road, throw on some, throw on some windows. Yeah, um, yeah. So, uh, geez, that's a ton of information. That's awesome. Yeah. So, uh, maybe one last thing on the windows, since we have this sitting here, these things tilt out and all that yeah. stuff. Let's, uh, yeah, they sure can, do. Can we have some fun with that? We can. Yeah. Let me show you how they tilt <laughs> them. Uh, and then I'll, I'm actually going to have Doug tilt them in Ooh. so you can even see how they're done. But i got to okay. show you first, and then we'll, we'll make sure Doug knows how to do right, it. Right. So. So obviously this window actually has a lock that shows between lock and unlock. You can see, can you see the little emblems lock? Oh yeah, unlock, sure. Doug? Yep. I know it's hard to see on the audio, but uh, lock and unlock. So this is in the unlock position. Okay. So now the window is free to move up and down. We're showing a double hung window, which means both sashes, top and bottom, move up and down. Right. So you got the bottom one, you have the top one, they both move up and down. Right. So when you want to tilt them in to clean, you bring it up a little bit, yep. and this one actually has little words that say tilt. So you push the button all the way, and the sash comes in oh, geez, that's one handed. Cool. And then you bring it all the way down and rest it on whatever. I would not rest your sashes on chairs, people. Don't do that. If you accidentally knock the chair, you'll be picking up glass forever oh, yes. in your house. Yes. Let it rest all the way down onto your stool of, your, of the window opening, and then it, you can rest your hands free and pull down the other sash. Okay. So the other sash comes down. There's actually a button here that actually pushes in okay. that releases the pins that are on the sides, and then yeah. you can tilt that I window down and rest it on the other sash. Again, my hands are free to clean right. the glass. Right, so yeah, you can clean it all this Without way. worrying about it falling it or anything up. like that. And these grids are inside the glass. Yep. So, so, so we have grids, cleaning. grills and grids, that it, it, however you call them. It's literally, you can get them in between the panes of glass, you can get them on the inside, or you can get them on both sides. Okay. So there's three options for that, depending on some his historical homes want them on both sides. Oh, right. So, yeah. 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 Or some people just like it. Yeah. yeah. So I'm putting the top sash back. It's not actually working just yet. It's still got this brake mechanism on. It's a safety feature that when you tilt them in, you're not holding the whole sash in your hands by accident. Oh, yeah, sure. Um, it's actually, when I try to push it up, it won't go up. It'll stay right where it's supposed to be mm -hmm. until I go down. So you hear this click? Oh, yeah, okay. Now it's able to go. It means the brake's released, and it's in its sash tracks. It knows it is, and it, it then releases the brake. So sure. it's same with both sashes. To put them in, you have to pull the pins in to get past that little point. Yeah. And then it's still, again, you hear that click. Oh, okay. And then it's able to and go up and down. Free to move. Free to okay, move. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. It's a safety feature that most windows don't have that if you're pulling them in, they're made to be replaced if they're, a lot of vinyl windows fail, so they're actually made to be taken out really easy. Well, not when I'm cleaning. Right. I don't want to do that. So that's another big piece of the safety features for the double hung window. I'm diving in on this. So do it. So then lift it up. So this comes up just a little bit. Yep. I like this. So this just moves like that. And you pull it in. Jeez, that's easy. Yeah. Okay. And this comes down a little. Yep, right in the center there's a button. Wow. 
So even you can do it, folks. <laughs> and now, do your your tech guys or the installation guys? They go through this with the homeowner. Yeah, to you, show everybody how and to you do know, it. Or? We not only go through this in the first appointment. We not only go through this after the first appointment, and when we come out to install. So the tech measure, and when we come out to install, people forget. Um, it's a matter we talked about the installation time period. It's you know 10, 10 about ten weeks. They yeah. they'll forget even after the installation. Maybe down the road, they're not opening their windows to tilt them in in February. There's right. no reason to. Right. So when spring comes around, they may forget. Just yeah. give us a call. We have videos on how this works. I'll go see so, yeah, sure. yeah. All right, perfect. One other piece with the glass, too, um, and I don't know why they spent so much time on the ease, ease of tilting them in. This is like, uh, geeking out again, this is a technical term, titanium dioxide. <laughs> it's actually baked into the exterior of the glass. Okay. Think of rain -X. Oh yeah, it's exactly like Rain-X. Oh nice. I had the guys come out and install my windows in 08 in my rental property. I've never cleaned the outside of the windows. Oh my goodness. Don't have to. Right, right. Just hose it. Just hose it down. Done. Oh, that's fantastic. It's lo I love it. I don't have to tilt them in to clean. So you don't have to worry about it. The glass it. looks right. great. The interior you have to clean. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get the Sorry. Yeah, you can hose it down. You got, I got one side. You have to do the other. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Awesome. But, yeah. All right. Well, cool. This is awesome, man. Great. Um, now, uh, I think uh, to finish up, um, kind of a last word. Got anything? Yeah. So I, we talked second? about what we do and how we do it. I really want to. I talked to Doug and I told him. I really want to tell you about why we do it and more personally why I'm here. There is. A, there's two reasons why I'm here. One, the owner of this company. This is a. This is a type of industry where you, you hear some horror stories where people take the money and run, and it still happens today. It's really sad and so it's true. scary. Yeah. Um, who do you trust? Right. Um, and I trust the man that's that's owning this company, and I obviously trust myself. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't the case. But I literally just visited a customer today, and I, I, I wish I had more time to go out and visit myself to these other customers to see the look on their face. We installed their windows last year. They're still gleaming about it. To experience and see and then go to our website and read the reviews. This, these are reviews that we can't stop. If they're good, bad, we've got some bad ones too, folks. Yeah. We're not 100%, like I told you. Yeah. But to see and hear these these people talk and rave about our, our work, and it's not just the window, it's more about the people behind the window, that's the reason why we're doing it, to make a difference in people's homes and lives. That's great. Yeah. That's awesome. So. Uh, now to, to finish up, how do people get in touch with us? Really you? easy. So you can go to our website, renewalofmain.com, okay. Maine spelled out. So R-E-N-E-W-A-L-O-F-M-A-I-N-E.com. Yeah. Fill out the form, it goes directly to me. Okay. So one of my members and my team will actually respond and give you a call to schedule a time for us to come out and visit. Okay. Or just give us a call. Um, the number right on that same website goes right to my scheduling team, and they're the ones that have the calendar and can easily schedule a time for us to visit. Okay, great. So Renewal of Maine is the place to uh, check them out. So uh, if you're in need of windows or just curious about them, um, go to the website, check them out. It's a great company, and I hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.